Hey, what's up guys? It's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD and welcome to another software tutorial and in this one I'll be showing you a frequently asked question. You wouldn't believe how many people have asked me this since the new iTunes 9 came out and that is how to create an account with the new iTunes 9 without using a credit card. So let's just go right into this guys. <music> So like I mentioned earlier, iTunes 9 came out not too long ago, uh, fairly recently, and people have been asking me since then, how do I create an iTunes 9 account uh, without using a credit card in order to download a few free applications, use a, free, a few free things, and uh, you know, just get to use iTunes 9 in a better way. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this really quickly. All you have to do is have the newest version of iTunes, and that will be in a link in the description at Apple's website. So in order to create your account, just go to the store tab under here and click iTunes store. And this will bring up the new iTunes store. Now it has changed a little bit. The applications won't be on the right hand side. So you can't get apps from the home page anymore. You have to be at the top and hit the app store drop down and pick any sort of application. I'm just going to hit the app store button in general because it doesn't really matter to me. Now on the right hand side, you'll see your charts for top paid apps and top free applications. This is where you want to be. So you go ahead and uh, select any free application and click the free button next to it and you'll be prompted to either sign in or create a new account. Obviously we want to create a new account. So once we hit that button we hit continue and this is the, the main step you might or might not have seen before. Uh, this is the same as the last version of iTunes 9. So once we continue we want to accept the terms and, the terms and conditions of iTunes obviously. Uh, first we're going to enter our email address. I'm going to blur this out. Next, we enter your password and re-enter it to confirm it. And we're going to answer, uh, enter a question and your answer to the question. Then go ahead and enter your birthday. I don't really mind people seeing my birthday. Like, if you have the same birthday as me, just let me know. And uh, would you like to receive the following email? Just whatever you want checked. That will not affect this process. Hit continue down at the bottom right. Oh, please enter at least six letters or numbers for your question. So that's something you have to uh, make sure you input. So let's change this a little bit. And hit continue once you've made sure all the steps are valid. Now this is the step that only shows up when you try to download a free application. You can choose your credit card, obviously Visa, MasterCard, etc. All the way on the right hand side here you can select none. And the field box will actually refresh so you don't have to enter credit card information. I think this is a really nice feature. I don't know why you have to go around it, around iTunes to get to this feature, but it's really nice that they do include it. So go ahead and enter your address and all that information and hit continue. I'll be back after I've done that. All right, I've inputted all the information and now we're just going to hit the continue button again on the bottom right hand side and it says verify your account and an email has been sent to the address that you inputted in the field and you'll go ahead and click a link in that email to verify your account and complete your setup. So just go ahead and hit done and go ahead and open up your email client, whatever that might be, and make sure you uh, verify using the email that Apple sent you and you officially have uh, created your iTunes account. So I'm going to go back after I've uh, verified my email and demonstrate that this actually works by signing in. So once you open your email client, whatever that might be, I happen to use Mozilla Thunderbird, an open, an open source piece of freeware you can find the link to in the description. Uh, either way, once you've clicked the link that Apple sends you in your email, you can go ahead and uh, open iTunes again and it'll say sign in to complete account creation. So just use the account information you just used uh, to sign up. So I'm going to enter that. MKBHD. And the password you just entered as well. I'm just going to type that again because I want to make sure and go ahead and hit sign in to complete everything and I'm pretty sure this is the last step yes so on the right hand side you'll see your uh, account information you'll see that you are signed in and your iTunes store account has been su successfully created so you can now shop and purchase uh, things you don't have to actually purchase anything if you do purchase you'll need to enter credit card info but if you want to download anything for free, let's say podcasts or free applications, you don't need any credit card information and you're pretty much good to go. So thank you for watching this HT tutorial from MKBHD. I hope this was helpful uh, to all you people who asked me how to create an account without any credit card information. And uh, good luck downloading all your free applications and good luck with all that. 
So anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful, and thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing for those of you who have done so so far. And if this did help you out, leave a comment just so I know that it's worked, or I'll take it down if it didn't actually work. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.